Oh shit, what's up man? I'm glad you guys are here. I got some great news. Remember last fall we were talking about these little streakers? You guys know what I'm talking about. These little gank joints that were coming out of Japan. Well, we finally got the shipment in. So stoked. So what we're gonna do is go outside and uh, maybe catch a few little tags with them and see how they write. Now I know you've seen them in the previous video, but that was in wintertime conditions. These are nice springtime conditions, as you would experience them in Los Angeles or one of those more balmy climates. So um, let's go outside and, and catch a couple tags and see how they rock. All right, so I'm very excited to finally get these in. This is a this is a very small streaker. Uh, if you've noticed that it's a little bit smaller than a Sakura, right? And doesn't have the the big chunky pieces coming out. Very, very slim, fits nice in the pocket. One thing I like about this over the Sakura is you're able to actually retract the uh, paint stick back into the barrel. That way you can protect it. You can't really do that with the Sakura. Sometimes it'll get knocked off its track and um, it'll kind of basically ruin the marker. And these are actually designed to be used in that fashion. So I thought that was a pretty ingenious design. Uh, you know, very compact, comes in all the you know popular primary colors, the red, white, the blues, the yellows, etc., etc. Now, when you purchase it, remember, this is a hot Japanese import, baby. Hot import nights. Uh, when you buy it, you get it in this beautiful little package that you can uh, always remember it by because it's kind of tight, you know? It's, uh, it's not American, that's for sure. Look at that. Very, very cool. JDM markers, my boy. JDM markers. Let's get to the meat of the matter, boys. How do they write? Now, we've played with them a little bit in the wintertime, but uh, I'm sure you want to see them again, so let's go ahead and get cracking with this. So this morning we did a live show and uh, I hit up a bunch of kids' names and I'm going to hit them up again. So first, let's hit up Chongo, which is a very sweet name. I like that name a lot. Put a superfluous arrow through that. Looks really cool. Let's see, there's another young man who wrote Gnarl. And I usually like doing these really big crazy A's. Like that. Oh yeah, that came out really, really clean. Now these are really buttery, you know, because again, I only used them in the winter time before, but in the summer, they're they're quite a buttery marker, like extremely buttery. It's really changed my whole outlook on these. I thought they were just going to be like a Sakura. Well, maybe they are. Maybe we need to do a side-by-side -side test in warm weather. All right, there's another young man that was following us. He writes Sano. Let me go ahead and hit, hit him up. Look, why don't we use a different color, huh? Let's hit up the homie Sano with the yellow. There we go, go ahead and get that stretched out there. Hit up the homie Sano. Oh yeah, that's very, very nice. I would say it's a little bit lighter than the, than the, uh, than the Sakura. It's more of a pastel yellow, I'd say. But it's a really, really nice shade. And again, just as buttery as before. Very, very, very nice. This young man writes beer. I guess he likes beer a lot. All right, let me go hit up beer. Big beer in the house. There's a beer in here, baby. My dude Sane, you want me to hit him up? Big Sane. Oh, did I already hit up Sane? No, I hit up Sano. I guess I'm hitting up Sane now. All right, that's chill. I can hit up two guys with S's in their names. Why don't we switch up the color to the blue and see how it writes? Let's see how it looks. Oh my God, that's beautiful. God damn, that's beautiful. Oh my God. That's more pretty than a Sakura, I think, actually. That is fucking fantastic. I'm gonna hit up Skate One. I haven't hit him up in a while. Big Skate, rest in peace. LA King. A real, a real, real true king, Skate One. Look him up, guys, if you don't know who he is. He's a legend. All right, this surface is a little bit rough, but I think we need to catch a few more tags. This is a dumpster and all. We'd like to do some more real world testing, if you will. All right, let's hit up my homie Sup One. See that, guys? That's that Slimer video we did, remember that? Look at that, it's been painted probably like 20 times and it's still it's still showing through. And you can't really get that stuff off, so we're skipping right there, it's not the marker, it's actually hitting the three-dimensional surface of the Slimer. And uh, not a whole lot I can do about that, but pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Very nice shade of blue. Let's try out the red, guys, you wanna see the red? Oh yeah. 
That's really nice. Oh yeah. God damn, these colors are really popping actually. Hit up my homie Camo. Whew. Looks like we're running out of room. Why don't we try it on this rough surface here? It's probably gonna look like crap, but let's just do it anyways. Let's hit up my main roll dog here. Inky, big Inky in the house. You probably saw her walking along through here. Oh, hit up my homie NC. You always gotta hit up your homies, man. So we did a lot of really great stuff on this black surface, and uh, as you can see, we've completely grilled it. So we're gonna have to flip the side over to the white side and see what's cracking over there with these other colors, because as you can see, they look great on black. Let's see how they look on the light surface. All right, let's do some more action on this. Beautiful, beautiful canvas I have here. Actually, let's hit up the name of the marker, right? It's a gank. It's Genko. Genko Warner. Interesting. On this, it almost looks like a pink to me, but it might be my sunglasses. So you tell me at home what you think it looks like. But I think it looks pretty filthy. Kind of messed up that B. We're just gonna run with it, guys. Sometimes life doesn't work out the way you want it. All right, let's hit up Kurt Cobain. I haven't done that yet. Kobe. <laughs> In case you guys didn't know, um, I'm also dyslexic. <laughs> All right, let's give him another chance, man. Kurt Cobain had a big influence on my music. Yeah, he was such a G. All right, let me do another skate tag because he's fucking awesome. All right, there's a Tony Hawk tag and his brother. You know Tony Hawk's brother? His name is Mike Hawk. Mike Hawk is probably one of the best skaters you'll ever meet. Mike Hawk can do a standing ollie about 60 inches high. Mike Hawk, he invented the 720. Mike Hawk, he also is one of the top graffiti writers in the world. Always, always, always remember, Mike Hawk, the best writer in the world. Well, that was a lot of fun. We had a chance to try out these gank markers again in nice warm weather. And as, as I imagined, they came out extremely buttery. I mean, they're amazing in the warm weather. So we're gonna have a lot of fun with these this summer. So expect to see them more. Um, but yeah, highly recommend it. They're also a little bit cheaper than the Sakuras too. So check out the pricing. They're very priced very nicely, but they do the job. The colors look good. What is there not to like? I just wanna say thank you for watching our YouTube channel. This is Art Primo signing out. This is me, GR, giving you the reviews. Um, as I can say, I can highly recommend this product. But uh, hit us up, 206-365-4083. Again, 206-365-4083. That's artprimo.com. We're your number one source for all things graffiti, not just the products. Call me and shoot the shit, 206-365-4083. You got a question about graffiti? I got answers. Hit me up. All right, guys, cease.